My name is Andrew Mackay Smith, and I host the Scars and Guitars podcast. This is my conversation with Ollie Pecker Lane, who is the bass player in Amorphous. The reason for the conversation was to promote Amorphous's new album for 2018 called Queen of Time. Let's hear what Ollie Pecker has to say. Here we go. Hi, this is Oppo from Amorphous. Yes, it's uh, Andrew Mackay Smith speaking. How are you, mate? I'm fine. Uh, just came to work, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. Uh, Still working and uh, uh, real like um, staying out of this day job from oh, on, yeah. uh, Ju- June. So uh, looking forward for the festivals and uh, upcoming US tour. And uh, I bet it's all fine here. Summer is coming to Finland at I'm, last. Yeah, I was talking to somebody in Sweden the other day. Uh, one of the members of Follow the Cipher actually, and we were talking on Skype like we're doing now. But we had the video up, and he actually he was in the car, and he showed me what it looked like outside, and it was blue skies. But all I could see was snow everywhere. It's quite the opposite down here where I am. <laughs> it's blue skies, yeah, and no snow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but um, no, it's all right, and um, it's becoming colder still but uh, it's kind of grayish because there's all the salt and uh, sand oh, yeah. um, around so uh, yeah let's see it's oh. going to take an- another month to have a summer here so uh, hmm. well you've got to be excited because the band I mean I know you're in a number of bands but Amorphous you've got an excellent new album Queen of Time out now I've had a bit of a sample of it mate and uh, look the last album that I really sampled and um was really able to listen to a fair bit, mate. It was almost 20 years ago, I hate to say. That was with Tuanella, which I know was your last album. So it's it's actually interesting that you and I can have a chat about this new album, given the last album that I really listened to from the band was the last effort that you appeared on before you left. So yeah. what can you tell us about Queen of Time? Ah, oh, well... Um... <sighs> <laughs> well, it's it's a great album, and it's I think it's a little bit you know, on this similar alley with uh, Tuonella actually. Okay, it's uh, the band went to various direction after that, a little bit jazz and um, mm. progressive uh, metal or whatever. But uh, I think the sound is a bit more bit more similar to late '90s currently mm. than what what it was in the beginning of 2000. So um, it's um, a little bit back to the roots, and I think uh, uh, maybe Jens Bukran has something to do about it, and uh, also Tommy Oates and has has um, has taken part to the direction of the band, bringing back a little bit that extreme metal mm. to the sound. So. Uh, so did you get? Did you yeah. get? Or is is part of the reasons that you work with Jens? Because I know you work with Sammy from Creator in the excellent band Baron Earth. So I'm really glad we can I can talk to you actually because I've got a few questions about Baron Earth as well. So did you get? Right. Did you get a bit of a hint from Sammy that he was the man to work with? Is that the is that part of the reason that you guys teamed up with Jens? Well, actually not. It uh, I think the guys. Um, well, I, they they did the previous album with Jens as well, okay. and. Uh, right. Uh, because of that, um, I, I guess um, that was kind of uh, the, the pro- production on that album was um, uh, so good that they did, decided to go for it again. And uh, Jens is, um, well, surprisingly, he's uh, favoring the crawling vocals, for example, and a little bit more mm. harsh okay. uh, guitar sound and stuff like that. So uh, he's pretty good choice for the band look one thing i I must say as well is that sorry to interrupt you but one thing i've got to say is that's one of the best sounding metal albums of the year in the car over a car speaker system i've got to hand (laughs) it to you guys over that uh yeah that that's that's uh quite clear to me as well that it's it's um the soundscape of the album is uh quite clear not not getting too muffy and um even true, there are there are lots of orchestration and core arrangements mm. and stuff like that. It's um, the uh, it's it's not getting too sugar coated, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I do. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, actually you could uh, come up with uh, lots of um, that stuff with keyboards as well. And uh, since we have been using keyboards from the early 90s it's not a sort of new thing for us to add 
uh, strings and chords and uh, stuff like that to our music. So, uh, well, the the sound actually reminded me a lot of an updated John Lord. I'm so I'm glad you brought up the keyboards as well because that really stood out to me when I was listening to it in the car because it was only an hour or two ago I was listening to it and. I, I, the keyboards complement the guitar sound beautifully. You couldn't have changed a thing about that to improve on it. Yeah, well, I think keyboards are kind of integral part to Amorphis uh, generally, so uh, it's really important instrument. Um, I think, well, well, we were one of the first bands to use keyboards anyway in death metal <laughs> mm. back in the days, so uh, it's kind of our thing to do, so... Uh, um yeah and it fits the music and it's um uh something which makes amorphous amorphous you know uh, mixing harsh and clean vocals and adding keyboards to like uh death metal or whatever mm. you can call, call it metal yeah, anyway whatever it's called so, it's all heavy metal isn't it these days <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> heavy metal we, well we tend to mix everything there's no uh, musical style that we couldn't uh, arrange uh, our way somehow, if you know uh, what I mean. Uh, we have saxophones and uh, mm. uh, clean vocals. We we use uh, influences from different genres. We have all, always done it. So, uh, so um, yeah. Oh. Okay, and I must ask, what brought you back to the band? Because it's been about 17 or 18 years that you've been out. Yeah, that's the question I'm asking as well. <laughs> because uh, it, it's around like uh, one, one, month, one year since Esa called me the last time. Well, I, I have to tell, I've been studying and working and uh, raising a family uh, for yes. like 20 years in between. So uh, my life... It's like totally different from what it was when I first left Amorphis. So, uh, uh, yeah, it was a kind of uh, exciting <laughs> thing for me, you know, yeah. to join the band because uh, I, I am a, an officer uh, in uh, Finland's parliament. I, I work okay. right. here as a day job. So, uh, I have a career on my own, so uh, I had to come up with the question if uh, should I like um, go for it and change my life again, because uh, naturally I have to quit working with this decision. Decision. So uh, mm. yeah, yes, I called me one one year ago, and uh, I thought about it for one day, and. Uh, called him back that yes let's go for it so uh, uh, I think Niklas uh, had made decision to uh, quit the band uh, and they were in US USA like touring there yeah and uh, when they came back from there we they had some uh, gigs in um, Russia booked and uh, also the festival gigs of the summer and uh, pretty big uh, arena tour with uh, Wallbeat. Oh, right. Oh, God, they're a big band these days, so, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, they, they needed a bass player and pretty fast as well. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's like uh, it's, I still – it's it's like pretty uh, it's hard to realize the situation for me as well. So, uh, uh well, it's been a blast, and it was, it has been a nostalgic thing to be in a band again. And uh, the guys were really like hard, like warm-hearted, and welcoming for me. So uh, it's been a good good experience. I, I think I'm in the band for good now. Okay, gotcha. Well, you've got a massive tour coming up, haven't you? I mean, you've got a, this, this US tour with Dark Tranquility and Moonspill. So how do you get time off away from the day job there and finish Parliament? Is it, do you just have to take long service leave to do those sorts of tours? Yeah, well, I'm leaving, leaving the job for two years now first, and uh, let's see how it goes from there on. So, oh, right. Uh, oh, so you're going for uh, the whole hog. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. In. Yeah. Okay. Now, now I can concentrate on the band, bands, actually. So uh, we are having a 
probably some gigs with Baron Earth as well. And uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be all music for two years now. And I think from there on as well. So uh, it's Great. all good. Okay, so so here's my question about um, Baron Earth because I, I really enjoy Sammy from Creators Guitar Playing. So when I discovered that you guys had teamed up in Baron Earth, that was quite something because I am an old Amorphous fan. You know, um, I got into Amorphous, uh, I would call probably what you call a second generation fan in that I got into Tales from the Thousand Lakes back in 1995, was it? That's when I remember yeah. listening to it, yeah. So when I heard you were doing heavy music again, because I am I mean, I'm, I won't ask you, well, I will ask you this question actually, but I'll get it, I'll ask you a question about the reason for your departure after I get this point out of the way first, you know. Bar the Barren Earth albums a bloody good album, but it's one of those albums that you've really got to dig for. Um, so, so how's the response been to the album, and is there any way that you can ask the label to promote it a little bit more because it's really got it all going on? It's a great heavy metal record, that one. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good album, and it's it, um, response has been really good so far, and uh, I think it somehow divides people as well because it's um, kind of. Um, uh, uncompromising music and it's a kind of kind of extreme album in a way yeah. uh, because it's mixing a lot of uh, influences again and um, it's really progressive so not everyone will get it and that's the uh, only natural thing uh, and, and a good thing as well uh, because we are pleasing primary, primarily ourselves with the music, yeah. just like in Amorphis as well. So, uh, But um, we don't have any kind of pressure from, uh, from the label or from the media to create something uh, we are not into. So, uh, yeah. Which, what's the label that you're with? Is it Century Media? Century Media, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think they've got a presence here in Australia these days, so it's very hard to sort of, unless you're really into it like someone like myself is and you, you follow individual musicians like I've followed your career, you don't tend to know when yeah. these releases are being brought to the market. I mean, you can go to you have to go to Facebook is what I'm saying and really be following <laughs> the band that way before you know. There's not really any, any yeah. other marketing mechanism these days, is there? Yeah, yeah. well, there has been changes in Century Media because Sony, I think Sony bought it and... Uh, uh, yeah, it's. I can sort of understand that they don't um, like concentrate on, on the smaller bands or in, in the for the, in, in like a medium sized bands. Okay. Uh, but uh, not, uh, in some way, it's all right for us uh, because um, we have our, our own careers. Like uh, Marco is having Moon Sorrow and uh, mm -hmm. Sami is um, playing with Creator. So uh, we don't we have we don't have much time to tour with Baron Earth, but um, uh, of course we are trying to find gaps, uh, like uh, where, where 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 we could do some shows and mm -hmm. even small tours. So okay, yeah. Do you think you'll ever yeah. make it down here with Baron Earth? Uh, let, let's see. <laughs> we are planning to go, go to America next year. Like there's some kind of progressive festival. So uh, why not? Yeah, we've been we've been in states and uh, in several countries in Europe. So uh, uh, when when we get the right right offer, definitely we will mm. come over. <laughs> so here's the question I was going to ask you before. Sorry, but I thought it was important that I spoke about Baron Earth first. Is that you know uh, I can only I can only hesitate to guess what your reasons were for leaving the band after Two and Ella because I was one of those fans again. I didn't mind Tuanella, but it was a big departure if you listen to Tales from the Thousand Lakes and then you hit Tuanella. In other words, the death vocal wasn't there and the songwriting definitely, it was still metal, but it wasn't metal of the same ilk of Tales from the Thousand, Thousand Lakes. But you continued to play genuine heavy metal music when you left the band. So was the reason for your leaving because the guys were more interested in pursuing a less heavy direction or was it otherwise? Well, yeah, that was one reason, but um, uh, it's, it's it's a little bit complex thing, and it's kind of hard to uh, come up with one reason only because uh, there was this musical direction which I wasn't really pleased about, mm. and then there was I, I I had a son around that time, okay, and uh, I didn't have like a proper 
proper education <laughs> and uh, uh, the band was not doing that well at that time so uh, I really started to worry like uh, what's going what's going to happen with my life and uh, mm. how I can man- manage with my family and uh, if I don't um, get the satisfaction from uh, the band's music so and uh, I don't get the, like the financial thing was another another issue mm. Um, so um, the situation was pretty bad uh, in that sense. So uh, and uh, I, I formed a band called Manhai. Uh, yeah, like a rock, rock band, stoner rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it, it, it was kind of a therapeutic thing for me. So uh, just just simple rock music and uh, just playing for fun. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, so it's 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 kind of hard to point one reason why I left the band, but but again um, after a while I started to write <clears throat> similar kind of music which we used to do in Morpheus uh, in the mid 90s, mm. and those songs became like to, to be Baron Earth songs after all. So. Uh, so it's kind of a you cannot get off off your stripes, um, like the saying says. Yeah, so, you can't change, can you? You eventually go back, and it's look. It was nice to yeah, see yeah. that you were back in the band. I must say, because I, I am a fan of when foundation members can return after a period of time out, and you are a foundation member of the band. So, do you have do you have a lot of say in the in the direction that the band is going to go musically moving forward? Well, well I really dig the direction currently, and. Uh, uh, especially the two two last albums, Queen of Time and Under the Red Cloud, has been like really really good uh, development in the band's career. So uh, mm. and uh, uh, yeah, makes it easy, I doesn't think, it, uh, to come back in when they're already going in a direction that you enjoy playing and listening to. Yeah, yeah, and I've enjoyed like many many. Of the previous albums as well, because uh, Tom, Tommy's vocals, uh, Tommy Olsen, uh with with him it's been like a, taken to a, a really good direction. Uh, hmm. The band, and uh, yeah, it's kind of a natural thing for me to adapt to the band. Yeah, no, fair enough, and. <laughs> Hey, uh, I'll ask you uh, two two more questions before I let you go. I know you've got, gosh, you've got half an hour interviews booked right up until ten o'clock our time, I think, isn't it? They're just one after the other. So, um, yeah, you've got some peppermint tea there for yourself, or a beverage, beer for later on, hopefully. <laughs> Sorry, you've got a lot of interviews on tonight or today, haven't you? I think you've got yeah, yeah, one yeah, after yeah. the other. Yeah, I'll I'll only ask. I think six. Yeah, look, I've only got a couple more questions to ask you before I let you go, mate, because I know it can be a grind when you're doing this stuff. As You've answered all my questions beautifully, by the way, but I just know that, you know, I'm looking at the, the skit. So from you've actually got four hours worth of interviews booked. There you go. Long time. Yep. Yeah. So my question is, what was it like working with Shriegel from Elviti? Because I had a chat with him about a year ago, and he came across as a fantastic bloke. Yeah, um, well, actually, <laughs> I didn't even meet the guy, so um, ah, right. Yeah, uh, it, it was like uh, Jens. Jens had this vision uh, of many things on the album, so uh, uh, and uh, that was only one part of it. Hmm. And uh, it was kind of a surprise for us to uh, hear all the orchestration and core core things and saxophones and female vocals. And uh, this fluid thing, as well. Yeah, so he uh, does. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, even uh, Akira Takasaki played guitar on one one of the uh, uh, bonus tracks. So, nice. Uh, okay, I didn't see that. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Yeah, I'll check that one out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, actually, <laughs> this was all uh, a great surprise for us to hear all the, this thing. He has mm. like solid vision. Uh, in his head and um, yeah, yeah it's like he kind of ex- ex- executed that <laughs> yeah he's a bit like George Martin isn't he I imagine he's he just he's one of those guys who acts as an extra band member when he's producing a band yeah yeah but I think we can we can make this all live as well so uh, it's not going to be a big issue even through there is lots of get guest appearances on the album so uh, 
Mm-hmm. We can manage to work it out with keyboards, for example, and uh, some maybe some guest musicians, maybe even Anneke will appear okay. on some some of some of the uh, gigs. So uh, okay, cool. And there, 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 yeah, and there are there's plenty of potentially good live songs on the album. So uh, uh, it's going to be hard choice for us to uh, come up with the uh, with the set. But I oh, think. Yeah. Uh, we will play several new tunes on the gigs. Yeah, I think is it the B? Is it the first track? That one really knocked me away. Actually, I know that's the one that's available on Apple Music as well um, for download right now. But that's a killer cut. That one. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's true. All right, final question for you. Now I've asked you about Barren Earth getting down to Australia, but Amorphous obviously have quite a few fans down here. So do you think you guys will eventually make it down here? Yeah, I think we are up to going wherever like uh, it's possible and i think amorphous has been there once uh at some point maybe within the 10 years or so yeah. um australia it's far away <laughs> mm, and, uh, yeah it's you have to do several gigs if you uh, come over and uh, well i i hope it will happen uh, like sooner or later we are going to japan in June, so why not to Australia as well? Yes. So, uh, well, if you're going to Japan, it's, we're not too far away from there, obviously. We're in the same Asia Pacific region, so I really hope you guys can come down then. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, I haven't been in Australia, so it, it would be super fun to come over. And, uh, oh, you'd love see it. See how it's yeah. like. Yeah. People from uh, fin- Scandinavia and Finland are very. Uh, I, t- I tend to find. Kind of like our discussion, it just flows. I don't know what it is. We're on the opposite sides of the world, but we're very similar people, I thought. Yeah, and it, it would be like great to have a holiday there as well with the same sweat, you know. Oh, bring the family there down. For week, yeah. Week you, yeah, 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 that would be great. Yeah, no. Yeah, why not? Well, mate, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for answering my questions and for your candor there. I really appreciate it. It's an excellent album, and you know what? Congratulations on an excellent career, and it's great to see you back in Amorphous. Yeah, thank you. It's great to be back, and uh, hopefully see you soon. For sure. In Australia. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right, brother. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you very much, Andrew. You have been listening to the Scars and Guitars podcast. My name is Andrew Mackay Smith, and that was my conversation with Ollie from the band Amorphous. Thank you so much for listening.